Hey guys, it's Balloon here. So this video will be a continuation to the Legion Commander offlane replay analysis. Uh, it will be the early game phase and I'll be actually covering a very common mistake that a lot of players tend to do as an offlaner. Uh, so it should be very interesting for you guys. Let's get into it. So what decides if your laning phase is done? What's the what what do you want to achieve in lane? Uh well, I, I try and have a, my normal goal as Leech is to have a blink dagger around 10 minutes and try and help whatever lane needs help by no, getting not, a duel. Not like, uh, not like this game specific, like what's the goal of playing the lane? Or what tells you that a lane is done? Not this game in specific, like in general. Oh, um, yeah. I don't know. You need to identify, dude, like is my lane done? Am I still playing the lane? Uh, am I in early game? Because that will change what you are going to do. I usually, like, if all the towers are up, I consider the laning phase still active. If one, mm -hmm. as soon as the first tower goes down, I consider it volatile and the laning phase is over. Cause correct, correct. So it could be anywhere. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. What what dictates whether your lane is done is based off the tower standing. Or also based off whether or not you're still allowed to, like, do stuff to this guy. So usually right. it'll last from, like, 8 to, like, 12 minutes. This is your laning phase. Or I like to put it shorter. I like to put it at 7 to 10. So you can play strong. If you play stronger, this will be your laning phase. If you play weaker, this will be your laning phase. If you do the right things, the laning phase will end very fast because you break the tower very fast. Right. Okay, so right now your, your tower is still standing. Are you still able to do anything to him? This is a level 6 Ref King. This is a level 7 Legion. Tower is this amount of health. It's 10 minutes <laughs> in. Uh, is your laning phase still playing? Like, are you still able to break this tower? Yeah. Yeah? Yes. But in order for you to break the tower, what must happen? You gotta push the wave. Push the wave? You push the wave? If you die under the tower, are you, are you, does that achieve anything? No. So how do you start? Like what tells you, okay, I'm strong. I start pushing, I start breaking this. What allows you to do that? You have to recover, have, right? Recover. Yeah, having, having, having health and yeah. ammo. Okay. To continue doing what yeah. I'm doing. Yeah, to, to keep to keep like pushing in, pushing in, to to leverage off the advantage that you have to keep recovering, to keep going. But the moment well, you I, get stuck I, like this, the leaning phase is going to prolong and prolong. Yeah. Right. Or worse, you go in, you like, die. <laughs> well, I have seventeen hundred gold right now, and I could have already sent plenty of regen and have sent, I think, only a mango and a salve at this point. One. That should have been like three travels of this career with like a soft mango tango soft mango tango and this guy should right. have died already like two times this tower should have been done by like nine minutes and you'll be all over here by now okay it's fine even though you didn't uh, uh recover that fast yet this is still fine your lane is still done even now my region is flying out okay you did that but the mango is not enough i want to look at some solves some tangos You see, like, like, now all this, do you think you're supposed to really push? Can you kill them under the tower right now with this health versus them? No. Cannot. So what, what should you be looking at? What should you still be doing? What? How do you play the lane? You'll come back yeah, to whatever you do. Yeah, grab that aggro. Yes, correct. Bring it back. <laughs> yeah, bring it back. Bring it back and still hold here. <laughs> you will do this until when? When will you do this until? So strong enough to push? Strong enough to push. What dictates whether you're strong enough to push? What must happen to this guy that tells you to push? Uh, he's low health and low I'm high health. health. Yes, he's low health, you're high health. So for you to bring him to low health, can you do it here? You can't. You do it here. Nope. You do it here, you bring him low. He's slow, you recover, you start pushing, start pushing, start pushing, and start doing all this. Okay, so right now what you're doing is you're just going to give him free farm. You cannot do shit to them here, so you shouldn't push the wave yet. Alright. See, that's a flow, like, you have these three states that you need to keep um, rotating between. If you right. are even in lane, get advantage, push the advantage with recovery. If you are losing the lane, hold the wave, hold the wave, and just sustain here. Until they leave the lane or something, then you start pushing. If you're strong enough, then you start doing all this. Meaning the guy must be like this now, under his tower. He must be like this now, full. See, even now, I wouldn't be pushing at all this. Like, once I'm done with that fight, I wouldn't push him. I'm already done. I can't kill him. I'm just going to give him free farm like this. I'll still deny everything. All this, I'll, st I'll just deny. I'm not going to push this. I'm giving him free farm like this. 
all this. No, none of this. Just deny hold, deny hold, pull it all the way back. And you're putting yourself at danger as well doing this. So even all this and TV comes, you die already. Oh, I'm dead, yeah. <laughs> you need to be able to read it before it happens, that's the thing. Worst case scenario. This is what it means to play for worst case scenario. If you're inside here, with like half health and someone TPs, chances of you dying, high. If you're inside here, with full health and like ref game is really dead, chances of you dying, low. Oh, I just don't know when to call it. Like, I went and got a dual victory and kept going. I could have easily retreated after recover it. Recovered, <laughs> yep. Then go again. But this is very good. This is fucking good. You're done with a fight. Go back to your lane. Push it out. Good. Okay, now, now you see. I have three heroes in my lane. If the Wrath King comes, can you kill him? Are you strong enough to, like, do shit to him with three heroes like this? Yeah. Yeah. So now you start the push and you start breaking his tower. But this is, what is this? Without your ult, why are you doing this? Without your ult, you should, you should just be at the wave. Yes. This Monka, what is this? Oh, you blink in and fight this guy somewhere, bruh. You're fucked. <laughs> yeah, I'm so dead. I wasn't paying attention at all there. Creeps for a Legion. You know, even Legion, like when you're farming a wave and the creeps are not hitting, you can also use the Gobble Aggro trick and force the prop from this third spell so you farm faster. You get what I mean? Oh, I didn't know that, yeah. Yeah, like you force the creeps to hit you with global aggro, so you farm faster. Uh, use global aggro to prop third spell when farming. If creeps not hitting you. You only right-click heroes when it's 100% kill. If you are not on Black King Bar, please do not right-click heroes after the new phase. You die to anything. Your job should just be to get free kills off the Every duel that you have, if there's an opening, get that kill, go back to farm. Do not keep pushing, you die. Your impact is very low. So duel is done, I farm. Duel is done, I farm. Without the duel, I will not fucking fight people. Unless I can really one-shot people in my right clicks and I have black in bar. Okay, but now damage is done, you just go back to your lane. You can't, you can't kill him, you can't push into him, so you just hold the wave. That's a kill for free. Nice. Right, enough, enough. Even this is a bit monka. Even this is monka. You cannot do this. Oh, you're fu oh, you're, you're gonna get fucked, bro. If the slada comes in right now, you're fucked. That chase is monka. Yeah, I'm definitely over chasing. Like, like this is what I mean. This is not a hundred percent kill anymore. Of course, your duel is done. And what's worse, this guy will trap you. This guy will stun you. And what's behind him, you don't know. No clue. <laughs> Zero vision. You see, that's why, that's why you keep dying after you're bling dagger. You got what I mean? Like, you're, you're trying to do yeah. too much. Instead of doing all this, you're supposed to be doing what? Just farming camps? Farming waves? Getting, like, your blade mill, waiting for the next duel, waiting for the next opening, then going back and farming all this again. That will not kill you. Yeah. This will always kill you because you're trying to do too much. Yeah. Indeed. You know what? What I like to call this? I, I like to call this like the trying to do too much syndrome, saving your body syndrome. Like you're trying to help <laughs> everyone instead of helping yourself. Right. Yeah, this is where I need the most help. Like end of lane phase, I think I waste a shitload of time. <laughs> After the laning phase, all you need to do. Because if you don't know what to do, right, you just do this. Where is the farm? Wave is priority, camps are secondary. If wave is safe, take wave. If wave is dangerous, take camps. Dangerous meaning you have no vision, no information. Do you die taking the farm? Are there any free kills that you can take? So farm will be whatever is closest to you. Unless open lane present with TP. Okay, so let's play this out. I mean, this is the shorter, um, simpler way to look at it. The mm -hmm. more advanced, broken down way to look at it is this. But it's the same thing. Explains the same thing. So now when you spawn, you wanna, like, you are supposed to avoid the fuck out of everyone. None of your teammates you should run into. None of your cores, I mean. Okay, so, uh... Uh, this invoker is here, avoid him. 
This AM is here, avoid him. So the only thing left for you is an open lane here. But even this, you think you're gonna die because you don't know what's behind him. So what I'll do is I'll show here, I will scan the wave behind. That scan tells me if this is safe or not. If it's red, I will not farm it. If it's green, I'll take it fast and I'll move. Let's see where you go. You see this? Instead, you choose to come back to top. What's the chances of you killing this guy with this hero? So what's the chances of you dying after this kill with this heroes? What's behind him? What do you know? We don't know. We know nothing. nothing. There's zero vision. That's we right. see one arrow on the mini map. Right uh, even even then, these guys are fucking full health, bro. Full health. <laughs> but what you did know is there's an open lane here. What you right. do know is there are two supports here, and there's a wave pushing into you. What you do know is there's a core farming this. There's a core farming this. So your goal should be to avoid this, to avoid this, to 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 uh, avoid this if possible, and find something that nobody is. That's here. I'm too focused on trying to get dual wins. Yes. This is this is the problem. Like it's as though you're an X. You get dagger. dagger. You run everywhere trying to kill people, and you die every time you get a kill. <laughs> do, do you understand why you're yes. falling off now? You're trying to do too much. Yes. All you have to do is very simple. If I play the game right now, it's going to look very simple. It almost look like I'm AFK farming. I'm always at the right place at the right time because I'm playing off what I see on the map. I'm not randomly gambling off, like what I want to do. I don't see what well, I want to do. I see what I'm allowed at, to do. Yeah. Look at the last hits. Like I was leading the last hits and then I just fall <laughs> off and <laughs> the never recover, even come close. So I just stop farming. Wherever you go, it's always it must be moving with intent to farm. Like I'm here for a camp. I'm here for a wave. I'm here for a free tower. I'm here for a free kill. It must all be free to you. If it's not free, don't do it. Like heck, even doing this, I'll be so afraid if I'm you. See, even yeah. this, I'm so afraid. Where are the TP here? Where are the people here? I don't know. <laughs> this only happened now, but it could have happened anyway. See, it's a flip of a coin. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. So everything's yeah. a risk. Everything's a gamble. Yes. Versus, you do this with, like, Black King Bar, Bling Dagger. Now, what, what is guaranteed? Is this guaranteed? Yes, because nothing kills you. Go ahead. But for you to reach that point, what must, what must it be? It's like 20 minutes, 21 minutes. Right, you're playing your 21 minutes, like you're, you're playing your 13 minutes like you're playing 21 minutes. Where did that 8 minutes of farming go to? Zero. Right. You, you know the ideology of like a pawn uh, 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 in chess? Like how does a pawn play, do you know? Like what, what does a pawn, how does a pawn move in chess? What, uh, what is the goal well, of the pawn? Become a queen. <laughs> Correct, exactly, exactly. Now you relate that to Dota, like every step they're taking in chess, what is that in Dota? Every step is this, what is this? That's uh, basically farming and yes. getting strong. Yes, farming and getting stronger. But what you're doing right now is, you're like, I take one step, boom, I'm a queen. I start running all <laughs> yes. around, I, I take this kill, I pray that it works out for me, I pray that nothing kills me, right? If something happens, I, I die, I become the next pawn and I go up again, I die again, I go up again, I die again, I go up again. Before you know it, 35 minutes is up, we're still stuck here. Right. Versus if I'm playing, I'll just be one straight linear path. I know I'm strong, I run into everyone. But but at the same time, I'm not telling you to AFK farming and ignore everyone. I'm telling you to take the right things. Like a pawn can still do something. How does a pawn kill? A pawn kills off convenience. Right? Something needs to come into you for you to do this. You do not go out of your way to do this. Like this now. You're going out of your way to do whatever the fuck this is and don't know what's gonna happen after. No vision. No vision, no information. You in fact only you, one other person on the mini map. <laughs> like like you I being here finally <laughs> You being here in the first place is already the problem. Whereas if you pick the right path, the right initial path, that will have led you like here right now. Right. Because that is the hundred percent play. This is the twenty percent play. You're gonna die again. That's zero percent play. Look, I even, couldn't be there. Look, even what this look at what this guy did. Where is the swap? Where the fuck is the swap? <laughs> you you cannot get away with stuff like this. You're not allowed to. That's why you don't know what you're doing wrong. You know, you're like in some games I pop off. In some games I'm losing. Why am I not consistent? It's because in the games that you're popping off, people are not smart enough to punish you like this guy. But in All the right. games that you're, you you lose a lot, it's because people are punishing you. Because they know what they're doing. They know that, hey, this guy's retarded. Let's kill him. Free. Yes. Yeah. They, I had no business being 
where I was at all. This is what you do with Black King Bar plus Blade Mill plus Bling Dagger. 100% kills. 100% outcome. Right. Before this even happens, I already know. I see this, free kill. I see this, free kill. I see this, free kill. Right now, anything you see, nothing's a free kill. Right? You're gonna, you're gonna like fucking base off these players to help you to kill. That's insane. So now, because you take the wrong first step, notice what happens. You're stuck again. You're stuck in yep. one spot and you're forced to be here. It's been like 45 seconds and I've done basically nothing. <laughs> exactly. That 45 seconds should have been spent, what, like the entire minute and a half, in fact. You TP to mid, you take the wave, you take the jungle, you take the wave, you take the jungle, like three fucking rotation. Until this right. invoker comes back here and he kicks you away. Then only you lead up to this. Even, even then it's to farm this, it's not to come here and fight this. How much creeps, how many creeps have you missed out on? At least like 25 or right. something, or 20. In a span of like 3 minutes or 2 minutes. That's why you are falling off all the time, because you're fighting all the time. Right. So even, even like, fuck, even deciding to stay here itself is Monka already. If I'm you, I already run away. This blink duel doesn't mean anything. If I blink this guy, I duel, I die instantly. You are going to die, bro. Even then, you're gonna <laughs> waste time like this. No, even, even this. Fuck, even this. See that? Now, now, now what happened? I came down, I'm stuck here again, I waste time. That full health OD, how do I kill? I have no blade mill, that's not a free kill. And then you chase for this kill, only you go back to farm. So you have wasted at least from 14, or like 13, or like 12, the moment you get your blink dagger, to like 18, like zero fucking creeps, bro. Only like yeah. 10 creeps, 10 fucking creeps. Not good. You must move with intent to farm. I'm here for a wave, I'm here for a cam, like this for example. See this Monka, what is this? This blade mill and blink dagger? <laughs> yes, you can kill someone, but the chances of you dying before you kill someone. What if a stun flies out? What if a stun flies out? What if a swap flies out? What if a close comes out? So many things can go wrong. Zero vision. Oh no, we have a, a couple on the map now. So even a kill like this might, might or might not have happened. That's the thing. Right, it was a gamble. Uh, it's a gamble, it was... and you worked out your yep. way. Even even yeah, then, fuck, even, lucky. bro. <laughs> even then, like getting this kill, that amount of time you spend walking like that could have been spent farming two camps that would have given you more or less the same or more than this. Right, and that's my problem. I you focus are way too much you, on kills. Exactly, you focus on the kills. I don't care if twenty minutes in you're like ten to zero, but you're level thirteen. This is jack shit, bro. Cause you're killing all the time. You're fighting. These are not like without farm, without convenience. This right. is going out of your way, and everything works out for you somehow. What I want to see is something like this. 20 minutes, I'm 16. I'm only like 7 to 0, or I'm 6 to 0. Or my lane is so strong that I'm 8 to 0. These are all convenient kills. Right? 10, 10 to... Uh, all, all these are convenient kills. So I'm not going out of my way to look for things. They come to me while I'm farming. So farming is always my priority. Safety is always my priority. You get it? Yeah, uh, no, I, I fall 100%. You're gonna see this happen a lot, like, you guys are stuck as 4 men running around, 5 men running around. That's not efficient Dota, because if nothing happens like that, you're essentially wasting 2 thirds of the map doing nothing. And even then, if you run into something, something goes wrong, all of you get team wiped like that. That's why you're throwing bodies back and forth, back and forth. But a very good player, all it takes is any core in your team to be a very good player. That guy will not show up. He will only show up when it's the right time. So unless I'm close, farming, and I see a free kill, I will go for it. If I'm far, farming something safe, and I see my team here, I'm not gonna fucking run in to go to you guys, if nothing is happening. Right. That's another mistake I make. <laughs> Do not run with the team. Go away from the team. Get strong, push all the lanes in, then converge with team. So you must always do this, always do this, always do this, and then slowly you go like this. You don't just be having waves in your sight, and you five men just go like this. Right. Once you understand this, your part like how you view Dota will change significantly, bro. You'll be like, I'm I'm always looking at where the wave is, where the camps are, what the timer is telling me to do. I'm not caring about what heroes are doing. I'm not caring about what the enemies are doing. I'm just caring about my own progression. And eventually, everything will be natural. It's smooth. It's hundred percent. There's no gambling.
Then you start noticing that I die lesser, my kills are higher, my GPM XPM is higher, my farm is faster, right? Because everything you're doing has purpose, has meaning. Right now what you're doing is too random.